Hey, y'all know the drill. New day, new creepypasta. This time we're going for... Uh-oh. Tail stall. Oh, man. What's funny is that this wasn't even a fan-made creepypasta. This was a character made by Sega themselves. Oh, I'm just curious how an actual Sega character became a creepypasta. I guess we'll find out in the backstory, so let's get into it. Alright, it's time to get into the backstory of Tails Doll. And as I mentioned in the uh, intro, is that this character wasn't fan-made originally. This was actually a Sega-made character. So I'm kind of wonder. I'm kind of excited to see what the full backstory is for Tails Doll as to how he became a creepypasta character, to be honest. So we have, Can you feel the sunshine? That's his most famous quote. You're coming with me forever. Wait, uh, what? Tales doll to the protagonist of one of his many infamous stories. The Tales doll is the titular main antagonist of various creepypasta stories of the same name, as well as the urban legend of the same name. It is a demonic doll designed in the form of Miles Tails Prower, who seeks to defeat him. However, in the however in the creepypasta stories, he's nothing more than a homicidal maniac who seeks to kill anyone who performs the Tails doll curse. Uh, say what? Uh, so we got origin here. There's no definitive history to the Tails doll creepypastas. The most popular one is the Tails doll curse created by Rebecca G. A man came home from work with a gift for his son. He picked he had picked up a new video game for him, Sonic R. It was a racing game, and when he gave his son the gift, he was so excited to get it and play it right away. That night, he played the game with his son, and they had a great time. A couple of days later, the boy was almost finished with the game. His dad was there in his room when he beat the last boss, and he roared in excitement when he finally did it. He smiled and asked him how he liked the game as he watched the credits screen. What's that? He asked the boy when the Tails doll appeared on the screen. The boy said it was the Tails doll. That was all he knew. He told his son it was time for bed. During the night, the curious father went into the boy's room and turned on the TV very quietly to play the game for a while himself. He noticed that he now had the option to play as Tails doll. He chose him to tag up with some of the gang. The game was fun until he tagged him up with Sonic. The screen went black when the game system shut itself down. The man decided it was time for him to go to sleep since he had work in the morning, so he crept out of his son's room and went to lay in bed with his wife. At around 2 a.m., he woke up when he heard thumps on his door. He assumed it was, son it was his son getting up to ask him to get him something. He told the boy to stop, go back to bed. The dumping kept happening, and at one point, he noticed a little shadow coming from under the door. Tails kept popping into his head. He got out of bed and slowly opened the door. Then he heard someone say this very softly. You're coming with me forever. It was a doll. An evil, blood-covered, possessed little doll. It was the doll from the game. It had to be. Excuse me? Okay then. Appearance. Tails doll appears as a fluffy little doll meant to resemble his organic counterpart. The most noticeable feature is the glowing red gem on his head, which is the source of his power. Why not just cut the gem off from his head? I think he'll just be a regular doll afterwards. Unless if it's not that easy.
personality, Tails Stone can either be a mindless, obedient robot to Dr. Eggman, or in this case, a misanthropic, creepy, psych psychopathic, homicidal, and monstrous machine of mass murder and soul consumption. Looking to kill and devour anything it finds purely to satisfy its hunger, sadism, and murderous urges. It is a relentless creature going out of his way to use anything to slaughter innocents purely for its enjoyment. However, other works have portrayed the doll as a misunderstood or even good entity who wishes to make friends and not be lonely and trapped within the game world. The source of Tails's uh, Tails doll's power comes from the mysterious red gem on its head. With this gem, Tails doll is able to levitate off the ground, teleport, and interfere with electrical interfaces. As well as that, in the comics, the doll is able to transform into a completely monstrous form of himself with multiple mechanical tendrils. Excuse me? Oh, uh, excuse me? I've never seen that before. Not once. Tailstall is either a machine made by Eggman who went out of its programming, or a malevolent entity demon from another realm that has either possessed the doll or taken on its form, possibly even a deity or a former human. The creator is unknown. It is unknown when the original story was published. Tails doll is often depicted in fan art alongside the interdimensional being Sonic EXE, as both are the most famous Sonic Creepypasta's urban legends. Tails doll has made many cameos throughout the Sonic games, with a similar looking doll appearing in Sonic Adventure, Generations, Black Knight, and Rivals. Hold up! Hold up! Okay. I don't have my Wii at the moment, so I'm not able to check Sonic Adventure or Black Knight, but I do have Generations on my 360. I need to see what the heck it's talking about. Tails Doll is an evil, malicious, vile, and cruel entity who seeks death and destruction at every corner. For every second it lives, he craves murder and anarchy and will not stop until he exterminates all life from around him. Though the requirements for summoning the tail stall vary from pasta to pasta, probably the most popular method is to win a race with the tail stall after unlocking everything in the game. To protect oneself from the tail stall, the most popular method is to own a Sonic doll. But yeah, made cameos, especially in Generations, I need... Okay. I'm gonna do a... I'm going to look up where the cameo for Tails doll is, and I'm going to find it. And then I'm going to show it to y'all, because I'm curious as to where the heck it that thing is now. Alright, so obviously we have the original picture uh, right here. Same thing, right here. This one's a, this one I've seen quite often. This one's a very popular picture for Tailstall. He's got the zippers all along his arms too. Uh, this one's a popular one, but that's that like creeps everyone the heck out. And the first time I've seen... Yeah, that's Tailstall. Because if you look closely, you can see the gym hanging off of his head. What is that? Wait, what is it saying? Hold up, hold up, hold up. What if the voice in your head tells you to do evil things? 
hurt those you love, bring pain and suffering to kill. Would you do them? And then right here it says, can you feel the sunshine? Which is obviously, obviously Taylor Stalls' uh, favorite quote, as well as the song, can you feel the sunshine from the uh, from Sonic R. Hey you, yes you, behind the camera. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Hey, this entire month of October 2022, there's going to be one creepypasta video a day throughout the entire month. So, if you don't want to miss the chance of catching the next one being uploaded, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, ring the bell for notification. And if you really liked this video, make sure to leave a like on the video as well. Put a comment down below, tell me what you thought of it. But other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.